Please have battery, please have battery. Okay. So I finally have a space to work and be creative in, which is like wonderful. And also it's why I was able to make a video two weeks ago. Go me. My studio is separate from our main house, which is awesome for noise. Has shelves for storing arts and crafts, more shelves for props, a glowy little place to hang my equipment, a desk to work at, a chair to sit, a floor chair to floor sit, and a cute little clothing rack for wardrobe stuff, which just makes me feel like so official. How neat to have a little thing to hang outfits that are just for this. I don't know, it feels like next level. It's probably not that cool. It's cool to me. I honestly feel so lucky and just inspired to make cool things. The space isn't really decorated yet. I mean, it's cute, but it's not like finite. Eventually, I wanna give it a cottage core light academia vibe, I think. But I don't have the time or money for that right now. What I would like to do today, though, is make some budget-friendly light diffusing curtains. Saying that out loud is so random. I already have these excellent blackout shades, but I think that something more sheer would help the windows act as like two giant soft boxes. Also, I like the curtain rod look, but it's not what I'm going for. I want something a little bit more seamless in the window. So the shades are hung inside the frame and match the frame, and I'm hoping that the curtains can hide behind them. I'm going for an aesthetic that, it's not like sleeker, but it, it like blends in more to the window than a curtain rod and grommet look, even though I like that, that's what I have in my house. Anyway, I've decided to DIY it to save some cash and bring you along, cause that could be fun or not, but it's happening. So I'm thinking that all I'll need to buy is like some white sheets from literally wherever and some iron-on hem tape from my local fabric store. Then I'm gonna use some magnets that we already have because Gray and I made this busy board for the kiddos. We truly are the kings of make it yourself. What do you have at home? Turn that thing into a thing you need. You already have too much stuff, so just like morph the stuff you got. That's my philosophy. Also some metal screws, and if those aren't strong enough for the magnets to stick to, possibly a couple metal plates. I plan to cut the fabric to size and hem all the way around simply by sticking down the tape and ironing. On one side, however, I will slip in some magnets. Then I'm just gonna screw into the top of the window frame, because why not, and hope my makeshift curtains stick. Did I do it? I don't know. I'm filming this part beforehand, so. <laughs> This could not even work. Insert anything that went wrong here. Okay, so the screws were definitely not strong enough. They were not enough metal for the magnets to stick to. Uh, the plates were necessary. Next, I had to do a double hem in order for it to not look ragged. I only used the hem tape you know, once per hem, but I had to fold it and then iron it to crease and then refold it over onto the hem tape. Otherwise, like the light shining through the window made the raggedy hem edge from my beautiful cutting um, look very visible and not awesome. So a double hem and then lastly, I need to invest in something um, to cut fabric other than my Ninja Kitchen shears. But Besides that, everything went pretty swimmingly. I'm just going to assume I succeeded. Woo! So yeah, that is uh, basically the video. What should I do next? Also in the comments, please let me know on a scale from one to 10, how, how boring was this? Would you say watch something similar in the future? Or did I like waste two minutes of your life? Cause I make a lot of stuff and I could totally do this more if you want. It's actually kind of nice because I don't have a bunch of time and combining projects and videos takes a bit of a load off. But also maybe you hate this, so I don't know. That's all. Okay, bye. It's funny because um, I've been recording this for nine minutes, but it's probably just going to be literally a 1.5 second clip in the video, so what a waste of memory. <laughs> Card space. Except, you know, I need a little talking thing for at the end. For the part, like the kind of pseudo blooper part after a video. Probably like exactly what you're watching now. And we're talking about it too, so it's so meta. Ooh, weird. Wow, you made it to the end. 
Uh, here is the obligatory part where I ask you to follow me on other social media platforms because it profoundly affects my self-worth. Just kidding, it doesn't really. But, you know, please follow me anyway because that would be fun and I mean fun for my self-esteem. Haha, <laughs> no, not actually. Uh, I am truthfully totally indifferent and if no one follows me, you know, I'm not gonna like cry into a pillow all afternoon. <laughs> I, I did that last Wednesday, so I, I think it's out of my system now. Yeah. Bye.